Why explicitly draw 128 was a bad news for you? And by you, I mean all of those people who are waiting for the CRS draw to drop. All of those people who are waiting for their ITAs. Why was this draw a bad news for you? This draw was conducted on October 16th and this was only for federal skilled trades class. So how does it actually affect you and why does this become a bad news for you? We will discuss in a very short while. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, so the last all program draw was the 127th draw conducted on 2nd October 2019. The cutoff score was 464. After that, on October 16th, exactly 14 days after the 127th draw, the 128th draw was conducted, which was basically only for federal skilled trades class. Now, some people might not know, so I'll quickly explain what is it about. So basically, there are three different classes, Federal Skilled Trade Class, Canadian Experience Class, and uh, Federal Skilled Workers. So basically, there are three different programs for which the ITAs are issued, and that is called an all-program draw. But the 128th draw was specifically only for the Federal Skilled Trades. No problem, everything was fine. But the problem was in the placement of this draw. Now, this draw was conducted exactly 14 days after when an all-program draw should have been conducted. Which means that the next all-program draw would happen probably this week or you never know, maybe next week. More time between draws allows the pool to replenish with higher scoring candidates, which can have the effect of raising the minimum CRS score obviously which would mean that uh, the CRS score will definitely rise in the upcoming draws so definitely the 128th draw was a bad news for you if you don't believe uh, what I have to say here you can check the statistics let's see what the past has to say about it so just this year a couple of months back the 122nd draw was conducted on 24th July, the cutoff score was 459. The 123rd draw was actually conducted three weeks after that, and the cutoff score for that draw was actually seven points higher. Okay, so this was the effect of three weeks, seven points higher. Now let's go back in time in the month of May itself. Similar thing happened. 116 draw was an all program draw on 1st of May, 450 was the cutoff score at that point of time. Then 117 draw was the FSTC draw, just like this time, and uh, the, it was conducted two weeks after that. After that, there was a gap of two more weeks, so 118 draw saw a rise of 20 points, which was of course a very steep rise. So may God forbid, if the express entry draw is conducted next week, then the CRS score will definitely go uh, maybe beyond 470, you never know. Okay, let's go back two years in time. The 74th draw was an all-program draw conducted on 18th October 2017 and the CRS score was 436. 75 and 76 draw was PNP and for FSTC people only conducted on 1st of November. Now notice that the 77th draw was an all-program draw which was conducted on 8th of November. The cutoff score was 458, 22 points higher. I'm not saying that the Cutoff score would actually, you know, rise up 20 more points from here where it is now. But yes, it will definitely rise considering the fact that the, that the period between consecutive all program draws would now be three or four weeks. Now you'll definitely ask me about the prediction. So if it is three weeks, let's say it is conducted this week, then you can expect it something around 470. But if it is conducted next week, then it may go even higher around 475 which would be very difficult for most of the people to achieve yes hopefully going further we would expect it to go down but the next 129th draw expect the crs score to go higher and by this guys i don't mean to disappoint anyone or discourage anyone 
but I really want to show you the real picture out there so that you don't get disappointed next week when the draw actually comes out. So thank you guys that was it. That was all the messages that I wanted to convey through this video. If you like the video, if you agree with what I just say, please click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends if you think it could be useful for them. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video.